Hello, my name is RP and I'm Research Associate at Margasot. In this video, I will show you how DataPlay can help you to increase productivity of your analysis and data visualization process. During this demo, I will focus on several functionalities of DataPlay. I will show you how you can design your analysis logic and design presentation without having survey data. And secondly, we can see how DataPlay automatically generates hundreds of slides with diverse charts, calculations, filters, and sorting rules. And then we can see how you can do your analysis faster by using flexible statistical features and data-bound charts, find new patterns and confirmation of your hypothesis using intuitive interface of DataPlay. And as a study case for our demo, we'll take four P's or marketing mix research model, the main components of which are product, price, place, and promotion. One of the largest retail chains in the world suffered revenue decreases, which prompted a research. Initially, low-income customers were the main target group of the company, and the retail chain decided to check if low income was still a dominant factor for the company's customer base. Hence, the study objectives were to reveal if there was still a correlation between customers' income and purchasing frequency, and secondly, to reveal other factors related to these four P's which may influence purchasing frequency decline. As soon as we have survey questions and research hypotheses, we can define our analysis and visualization in data play even without having survey data. For this purpose, we will use data play's presentation template object. So we go to template section of our project where we have already created presentation template for our client company. Here you can see the list of variables that we want to analyze. I will focus on efficiency of promotion tools, satisfaction with location, annual household income, satisfaction with price policy and purchasing frequency. These virtual variables will be mapped to real ones when we connect the dataset to our template. Then we can use DataPlay's repeat a variable feature to test our research hypothesis. We can select annual household income variable as a repeater and apply it to the main slide. Below listed slides are called child slides. The iterator from this main slide applies to all child slides. Each child slide reflects one particular element of our four-piece model. As a result, our data will be categorized based on each income group. After naming and defining the types of variables and charts that we want to analyze, we have a ready template. Now we just need to connect the dataset to the template and map virtual variables to real ones from our research database. Now we can see how DataPlay automatically has generated the presentation, and four researched components of the store are grouped under each income category. Now let's outline some interesting study results based on the presentation. We can observe that 78% of customers with lowest annual income purchase from the store every day. Moreover, there is high probability that they will recommend the store to their friends. Another interesting fact is that 67% of customers with lowest income think that retail chains' prices are in line with their expectations. Another finding is that low-income customers purchase from Alabama, Arizona, Alaska and Nevada located stores. We can also highlight that low-income customers perceive retail chains' promotion ways as fully or mostly efficient. Additionally, we identified interesting patterns. While low-income customers purchase mainly grocery products from the store, customers with higher income purchase music, movie-related products, books, electronic products, and baby products. These were just some interesting findings from our research. Here, we have detailed conclusions for low-income customers and also recommendations for our client company, which can be used to develop new business strategies and increase company's revenues. In this presentation, we demonstrated how DataPlay helps you to increase the productivity of your analysis and data visualization process. 
We can continue using DataPlace presentation publishing and updating features, but we will speak about them in other videos. Thanks for watching and please explore our website to get more detailed information on DataPlay. DataPlay. Analyze. Visualize. Present.